Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a Lush haul. Ah, do things for Lush. So I have a, a little haul of things that include Halloween products, just generally brand new products because they've come up with like a million new products because they discontinued like a billion products. Like they discontinued Blackberry and they discontinued Dream Wash, but they have brought out some things to ease your pain. We will start with the product that I am most excited about and that is the Bunny Moon Jelly Face Mask. This was made by Dan. I've used this a total of maybe three, four times. My face is so soft afterwards and so clear. It's like every mask I've been trying to like over the last several years, this has fulfilled what I've been wanting for on a mask and I'm so happy with it. Honey, talc, kale and glycerin, chamomile, marigold, other chamomile, carrageenan, uh, rose, vanilla, benzoin, resinoid, and then um, titanium dioxide for like viscosity and stuff. But it's like everything I already use on my face in a mask and it's so good. Like I love it so much. These are like $13 and they last just as long as like the cup of coffee or mask of magnum minty. And you don't need very much of this. You need very little amount of this product and I am so excited. The other one I might try is Birth of Venus. I haven't decided yet. Let me know if you've tried any of the jelly masks yet. Let me know, yo. Now let's get on to what I bought yesterday. Ah! So one of the things that they came out with, I think to appease everybody's sadness about Dream Wash getting discontinued is OT Creamy Dreamy, um, <laughs> which is the most ridiculous name for a shower gel. It's a shower cream but it is the thickest shower cream because how many ingredients? One, two, three, four. The sixth ingredient down is cocoa butter. Like this shit is thick. It's a thick boy. Arnell, what up dude? Lavender, chamomile, and rose. And it smells like dream wash. It smells like dream cream. It is a body wash that is moisturizing and calming for your skin. So if you like dream cream, buy this. I used it in the store yesterday and holy shit, dude. I am a Lush shower gel hoarder. Let me know if you would like me to do a collection of shower gels that I have hoarded over the years because I have too many of them. That actually could kind of make a funny video being like, I have this from like four years ago and this from like two years ago because I literally have shower gels from like probably four years ago that I still use. As long as it doesn't stink, I'm gonna use it, okay? Another year round product that they just came out with uh, to replace something that they discontinued is Hair Doctor Hot Oil Treatment. This kind of smells like Hair Doctor hair mask, but it is a hot oil treatment. So you take this in hot water, little bit, stir it around, you can microwave it. Um, a tea kettle probably works the best because the water can stay hot as long. So you just stir this until it melts down and then you saturate your hair. This one, Hair Doctor, was specifically made for hair and scalp. So if you have like itchy scalp issues and like you need to detox your scalp, this is really good because it has mint and chamomile in here too. I had to think for a second, I was like, what else? It, it really smells like chamomile tea. It's really lovely. Um, now on to the fun bath time products. I did get a piece of Hedgewitch soap. Again, solid soaps and liquid soaps, I am, I have way too many of. Mainly because I don't have a bathtub and these are the things that I can collect and hoard. So Hedgewitch is, damn it. The problem with these is that I, it doesn't say what's on it, what's in it. I'm just gonna open it and then I'll tape it back together because I know how to wrap this shit up. It's quite saturated. It is like green. Oh, what is this? It's like fruity and grassy. There's blackberries in it. Um, I had to think for a second. I was like, what's in here? Blackberries. It's good. It's like fruity, but not like candy fruity. They did come out with some of the like gourmet soaps that I almost bought, but I'm like, wait, is this permanent? They're like, yes. And I was like, okay, I don't need it yet. Um, but Rose Argon solid gourmet soap, excuse you, excuse you. And then olive tree that has like green olives and olive oil in it. So if you love olives and you have dry skin, olive tree, check that shit out. Hedgewitch, it's good, it's fruity, um, but I like the name Hedgewitch, I think it's cute. <laughs> like hedges, like fruit, bushes, hedges. Hey! I got uh, one of the um, Black Rose Lip Tints, which, oh girl, it has like mandarin. It's a very specific smell, but I can't pinpoint it. It looks like this on my hand, right? It's like a purple. It goes on my lips 
more like a fuchsia and it definitely does stain so like this is gonna stain my hand when I wash it off so like if I did this I don't know it, it works and it's great. It's called Black Rose and it smells good and it feels good and it tastes good. So that's cool. Usually I don't like the stick lip tints. Usually I give zero fucks about them, but like this one I was like, I can fucks with this. I can, I can get down with this. This is great. Yeah, so that's that color. Whoa. Um, I got one of the, um, I don't remember what this is called, but it's Sultana of Soap and Blackberry. It's a blackberry scented bubble bar that looks like a black cat. Blackberry is one of those scents that was like far underrated because the bath bomb was so boring. It was just like a indigo colored bath bomb and then they discontinued it. But they came up with this. So if you're sad about Blackberry being discontinued, definitely check this out. It's adorable and you get more baths out of it. And it's a cat. So like stock up on these. But the thing I was most um, intrigued about, I saw this online and I thought that they were fucking with us. Like I thought that they were joking. I was like, wait a minute, this isn't real. This isn't serious. <laughs> this can't be real. A, it smells good. Um, it smells like lemongrass. Oh my God, it smells like sexy peel. <gasps> it smells like sexy peel. <sighs> but it's a bubble spinner. It's literally a bubble bar fidget spinner. I don't, like I said, I don't have a bathtub, but I just wanted this. <laughs> like, how fucking, this is so stupid. I tweeted yesterday, like there was a video of this and I was like, Reeve reached peak meme. Now that's a thumbnail right there. It smells really good, so. Ooh, wait, oh my God, all the colors smell different. I mean, like I could see their point because it would make like bath time even more relaxing because like you're fidgeting while you're taking a bath. So like two levels of anti-stress. But still, I'm like, come on, Lush. Do we really need to sink this low? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, we do. I haven't tried it yet, because I'm in a bathtub. So next time I go home to my mom's house, I'll have to use it. Share a little video. Get all of the kitties checking it out so I can dab on them haters. Yep, we've reached peak meme, kids. I have an ant on my light reflector. Fuck you, dude. No. The Fuck! Did it climb up my tripod? So yeah, that was my Lush haul. And once they come up with the holiday things, I will most likely do another Lush haul with Christmas stuff. Um, but let me know if you want me to do like a collection of my shower gels because I have a lot of them and I could make a whole video about it. And it would be over 10 minutes long because I have too many. Okay, today's song of the day is Kurt Cobain by Astronautilus. And uh, rap is hip hop. I like Astronautilus. Bunch of new songs got added to my Spotify library. Digging them, digging it. So if you like this video, subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, hit the little bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. And then check out my previous video. I'm gonna go wash my hands with that Odie Creamy Dreamy. It's a little odd name, but it feels so good. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>